We prayed and we said, devil, you brought the wrong family. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're about to pay up. (laughs) (laughs) You know, right down the driveway. Yeah. So by Monday morning, or Monday afternoon, we had enough finances to fix the window, get a new door, get a new TV, and... uh, is an emotional and emotional and, emotion. yeah. and we were actually talking about you know just that testimony is just so amazing because God when he says he's going to restore seven mm-hmm. fold re- 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 he truly has till yeah. this day we have never had to buy a TV or a computer Everybody God, our motorcycle. Our motorcycle. <laughs> God is continually but that, restoring but that part is so but winning that, yeah. you know yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, but, yeah but Hello and welcome to another episode of Winning Conversations. We have some Heritage OGs with us today, Jenny and Levy. How are y'all? Doing well, thank you. It's good to see you. I mean, we see y'all all all the time, but it's good to have you on the podcast. We're honored to be here. It's about time. No, just kidding. Y'all, it is about actually it is about time. Yeah, I've had people ask when we were going to have them on the podcast. Yeah, you guys before. have been on our list for a while. Y'all wow. are some fan favorites. Okay, but, uh, there are some people that I wanted to get to camera first, and you are one, we're one of them. Oh, because we love your faces. Oh. So welcome season two. Yeah, we get you know we get that a lot. It never gets old. You know? I will for her at least. You know, I have a radio face. But. <laughs> a radio <laughs> face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so no. y'all have been in heritage for a long time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we want to hear what all you've done here. What do you do now? Kind of your experience with Heritage. This year will be what? Tw- 20 years. It's crazy. Yes. Years. Wow, it's it's a long wow. time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Part of uh, Charity of Light. Help do the ushering. I do the the tra- uh, the train ministry deal. Taking oh, the yeah. kids with around. The, with the hat on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. The whole nine, the mm-hmm. overalls. Yeah, yeah. Do that. And uh, we're also Thrive Leaders. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, and I do women's ministry. Um, I've pretty much done, I think, a lot of different roles. I mean, 20 <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I did the kids' ministry for a long I time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, now I do the women's ministry, outreach for women. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I do a Pastor Nets armor bearing. So now that's a kind of a unique role. And you've done that for how many years? Uh, it'll be 10 years this year, actually. Wow. In October, oh. it'll be 10 years that I've been doing that with Pastor Annette. Yeah, I think that's kind of like a, a bit of an insider term. Like, people don't quite understand that. Will you explain what Armor Bear is, what your role is? <sighs> My role for Pastor Annette uh, is just to come alongside her and support the call of God on her life and help in any way I can for them to fulfill the vision God has given them for the house. So if that includes you know, getting props for her teachings. Or she loves props. She does love her she props. Loves her props. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, praying for her, praying for her family, her family time, her time with the Lord, just covering all aspects of ministry mm-hmm. on the call that God has for her. And so that is the role. Why, why for people who don't know, why is that necessary it goes along along with protecting the anointing on her because if you're if she's focused on all these other things, mm-hmm. then she can minister to the body of Christ. She can spend that quality time with the Lord that she needs to be able to bring us those rich messages. You know? Yeah. But so I make sure that all that other stuff is done as much as I can, so that way mm-hmm. she can just focus on on that aspect of bringing us the word, Ministry. ministering to the, us and her church her church body and just mm-hmm. focusing on that and that protects the anointing on her and, and what God has called her to do. How did you start doing that? Um, well, I started by just pretty much serving. I was She she used to do a lot of the Bible studies um, for the women and mm-hmm. she would be the one going doing all the grocery shopping and everything. So I was like, yeah. she doesn't need to be doing that before she has to teach. So we got like five girls together and we just started doing that, to all, you know, doing all the shopping for the meetings. And so that way she could just focus on the, her time you know, getting ready for the Mm -hmm. the sessions. Um, And then I got a call. I don't know how many years after that. Uh, And then I think 2015 is when somebody called me and said, hey, would you, she called me and said, hey, I'd like you to take this role of being my armor bearer. And I I, I had learned a little bit about it, but Mm -hmm. I didn't know much about it. So I got a book and I started learning about it and 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 I was like, yeah, I'd be honored to do that. And so, awesome. and so we be developed now a team of about fifteen women that come alongside her, and we help with other aspects mm-hmm. to, so that way she's able to do what she needs to do. 
you know. That's awesome. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. Yes. It's really neat to watch the fivefold ministry do what they're called to do. Mm-hmm. And Excellent. God puts people like you in places to help protect that anointing, to help help yeah. them do what they're supposed to do. So Absolutely. like the biblical reference is always, you know, uh, David and Saul carrying the armor. Exactly. Like that, just yeah. so we can give some context to that. But um, your story doesn't start there. No, it doesn't. Where does yeah. it start? It starts in the faraway land, right? Yes, Where yes. are you from originally? Originally from Kenya. I'm Texan. I just tell people I'm Texan, so <laughs> <laughs> and I stick with it. <laughs> Don't sound like it, but yay. Hey. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Thanks. That's awesome. So tell us how y'all got here, and uh, and then you weren't raised as a Christian, right? Either of you, right? No. Yeah. But we, for us, we we had the biblical material, and I'd see the Kenneth Copeland little pamphlets at the house and stuff like that. I knew nothing about it, and uh, everything happened when we moved to Dodd City in Kansas. That's where in we Kansas. Moved. In Kansas, yeah. But I was in Tulsa for a while, and you know how Tulsa is. No. No, you don't. Okay. I don't. It's a Bible Belt. It's uh, what they call it. Uh, oops, I just ripped off. <laughs> Little Mecca. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and uh, everybody was witnessing to me and all that, so I started watching a little bit of TBN. And uh, one night I was watching TBN, and this preacher came on, and he preached a sermon, fire and brimstone stuff, and I said, mm-hmm. man, I better get born again. <laughs> I don't want to go to hell, so that's what I did. It's, did the salvation prayer. And I knew something changed, but I wasn't quite sure what the whole deal was. Yeah. And uh, that's how the journey started. And I remember he called me because I was still in Kenya, and he told me, oh, I've got saved. And I was like, saved from what? And yeah. he started explaining <laughs> all this. And I was like, you know what, brother? I don't have time for this. And so so we kind of just, you know, there was just a difference in yeah. our relationship from that point. And we've been together since high school. And so there was just kind of something different. And so when That then you he, could tell in him? We just like well, in our conversations. Yeah, these conversations kind of went a different way, you know. Yeah. Like I, I can't be talking about partying and stuff like that, yeah. you know. So it was like, uh, okay, well, can't talk about nothing else. <laughs> and, uh, but <laughs> all right, bye. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. that was my whole life. I, you know, uh, we didn't really go to church regularly, mm-hmm. and so I we were taken to Catholic school. So I kind of identified with the Catholic faith. So mm-hmm. and that one to me was easy. You go in, you'd be like, hey, I've sinned. They tell you go do your rosary. You're good. You go back to party. <laughs> So I was like, hey, this works for me, you know. Yeah. And so, but uh, not, you know, not really having any knowledge of what it right. is to have a relationship with God or mm-hmm. what that means, you know. So I didn't, I had no point of reference when you talk about, you know, faith being and, and being born again and any of that. So but a lot of it happened when we moved to, uh, when I moved to Kansas, mm-hmm. opened up a business up there. And uh, that's when I started getting really into it, like really understanding the word, walking the word, and you know, working out the word. What was it about it that drew you to it, though? How, like, after watching that and then getting saved, what, like, motivated you to keep learning about it? I started seeing happy Christians. Mm. For the longest time, anybody who was a Christian looked miserable and yeah. you know, kind of like, well, you, you know, you, you claim to be happy, but you really don't look happy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I remember watching, uh, at the time I didn't know, but it was a minister riding a motorcycle in the middle of the aisle at a believer's convention. And I thought, that's the way church should start. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> and, it just <laughs> happened to brother Jay. That's yeah, cool. and I just thought it was the most radical thing. I thought, man. And it was Dr. Seville? Yeah. yeah. But at the time, yes. I wasn't, you know. You didn't know. It really yeah. didn't know. I just thought, this is cool. Yeah, so. <laughs> Did but you I, ride motorcycles then? No. Or you just, that? That was one of the seeds that was planted. Interesting. Because yeah. 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 at the time, we were um, being mentored by uh, Jeannie Dederman, Don Dederman. Well, him and uh, his sister, I wasn't there yet. So whenever I moved to Dodge, I would go and help him in the mall, and this yeah, genie gentleman would come and witness to me. Because, you know, they say that the, the Lord pursues you, and sh- I'm telling you, she was, God told her that I was her assignment. So, <laughs> oh, she, wow. yeah. so she would always come looking for me every day yeah. to tell me about this man but called Jesus. But you still weren't, like, committed oh, yet. Oh, no, I was, yeah. like, still partying, and, yeah. you know, and he I was still. in the mall, and it was, she was easy to find. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he would be going to church, and I would still be partying, and so, but he would still be, like, praying for me to, you know, change my ways. But mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not having it, and so. So what <laughs> did it? Well, one day, um, after he continued to invite me, I said, okay, 
I'll, I'll go to this church of yours <laughs> mm-hmm. if you first take me to Catholic church. Oh, yeah, I remember mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I yeah. hadn't been to Catholic church in I don't know how many years, like 20 years, but I was like, that day I had to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so so that morning, I think it was like at 9, we yeah. went to the, the Catholic church. And then at, at uh, 10, 10, we 10 o'clock. Abundant Life Church. Ab- abundant Life Church. Wow. And that's why I say. Shout hey, out. Shout out to Abundant Shout Life. Out. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. But that's why I say. They, Media Ames and, and Jim, Jim Ames. and Lydia Ames. Oh, man. Yeah. And, uh, but everybody was part of my story from the people from Greeting. Because that's where it started. Just, just um, from the door. You know, in Catholic Church, they don't know one touches you or talks to you. It's mm-hmm. more like you go, you do your thing, and you're out, you know. Yeah. And here there were people, you know, from the front loving and hugging me and I'm like they're touching me I don't like this <laughs> I don't know about this yeah and so but but I knew there was something different yeah so that right. I didn't go every time but I started kind of you know tagging along with him whenever he went and so one one Sunday was a guest speaker because they did an altar ministry every altar call, altar call every every, altar calls, yeah. every Sunday but that wow. day they didn't and so I told Jeannie I was like I was ready to do that thing today. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, that day, didn't that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Salvation yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was like, the yeah. salvation oh, prayer man. thing. And then she's yeah. like, let's get it done now. I was yeah. like, now here? She's like, yeah. So we just, yeah. we just, I just received the Lord in March and, and we talked to the pastors about getting married. And cause now yeah. of course I was, he was like, Cause Ch- you need God <laughs> in <Next>. a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you she do. was like, Ch- yeah, yeah, you definitely need God. And like, yeah. yeah. And a month so, later we were married. Yeah. You know, so that's so neat. 22 years ago, yeah, yeah 22. Beautiful. Ryan did the same thing for me. If y'all remember our yes. episode, like I got saved and we were like engaged and married like in four yes. months. So yes. it is important to be like unified with God Absolutely. in your marriage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gotta love godly men. Yes, yeah. yes. And it was it was the walk and a journey because of yeah. course he had already been, you know, born again for a while. He yeah. was learning, but still I was like different. fresh. So I was still, you know battling the flesh with the, the spirit sure. like everybody does but, yes. yeah so exactly. it was those months were entertaining to say the least yeah <laughs> that was fun because you're working yeah. adventures in faith right? yeah yes. it was an adventure yeah. in so, faith uh, yeah. yeah and yeah. we learned a lot from that couple yes they, they took us in and they mm-hmm. taught us a lot and yeah. also from the church yeah we did a lot of did the discipleship classes they would yeah. talk to us about attending all the discipleship mm-hmm. classes and and that's actually one of them had that armor bear class in it yeah. as well oh, so, wow. interesting. so that and was interesting and service. Uh, seed planted. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a yeah. lot of seeds were planted and, and that's how we heard about a lot of the different ministers that <clears throat> that were that we would visit here in texas because every time we'd come to see family in texas because a lot of the family were living here in texas at the time we a would, lot of your family yeah yes. mm-hmm. so the, they were not church so whenever we come down here we, we, we'd be like we need oh. to go to church and be like what's yeah. up with these weirdos you know <laughs> like, you want to go to church what's up with that but yeah. yeah yeah so we'd look for like somebody we'd heard at at, at abundant life uh, that we do a curriculum uh-huh. for would be like let's go to their church so so that's how we kind of just would come and visit and so whenever we'd be here, we'd go to a church. So we uh, attend yeah. church. Uh-huh. And so oh. one one Sunday, we I came in, and that was, oh, it was in a May where my mom had come to visit. And we were like, oh, I was coming. And he couldn't come because it was a busy season for us at yeah. the business. So I came. And that's the year we were coming to... Um, to uh to heritage mm, for the first oh, wow. time yeah. so we came um and i was like i just knew god was like this is yeah, this she is called me and she goes oh man levy check praise and worship was awesome service was awesome and i was like and guess what i was like what they had motorcycles parked out there <laughs> but <laughs> yeah and by this like, time we're i was going. really into it right and uh yeah, and that's yeah. how we... Uh, yeah, and I knew we were supposed to come here. Yeah. Uh, so that's always, how y'all got here? Yeah. yeah. By your visit? The vi- the visit and... and uh, yeah, and w- when, uh, right before that was um, a guest speaker had come to church, and he mentioned something uh, about finding a home church first before moving, you know, if you're moving for family mm-hmm. or work or whatever it is, make sure you find a home church first. So when she called me and told me about that, it was confirmation. Yeah, like, okay, mm-hmm. we have a home church now. Uh, and we're like, yeah. So it's all good. Now we can look for everything else around, you know, work and all that stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. But your family wasn't, they weren't going here no, yet. No, no, no one was going here. No one, no one was That was going our here. first time to visit yeah. was that day. And then the Lord was like, oh, this is, needs to be a home mm-hmm. church. And so when we went back, we were like, okay, let's start the process of yeah. getting. So I went ahead and did my resume and, mm-hmm. and I made a mistake on my resume because I did it in a hurry. I, I forgot to put the last digit of my phone number 
So the company. Which was a nine, by the way. Yeah, it was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> but the company kept How calling. How do you remember I that? I know. <laughs> it yeah. was just, it was just we waiting. It was we were waiting. Like, we're like, okay. okay. Why aren't they calling? Yeah. 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 But the company had called and they kept leaving messages on every single digit until <gasps> the number. And they're like, we want to interview you. And, and so I did like a panel interview over the phone. And then they forgot to hang up on their side and they were like, we're going to offer her the job. Oh my I gosh. Was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I got to even know before they called me to wow. give me an official That's amazing. offer. I know. Yeah. It was I still mean, a God thing. Yeah, that God, we, yeah, everything. Thing. Yeah, and then, we tell people, we're moving to Crowley. Yeah, what? Crowley. Yeah, Crowley, no right? one, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it was awesome. It was a, and was it just like a domino effect with the yeah. rest of the family? Yeah, when we when we ended up uh, moving, because um, we went, uh, God, yet again, when he gives you a vision to move, he provides everything yeah. that you need. So even my nice. got my bonus check early from my boss at the time, and uh, that was like, it was supposed to be December that, mm -hmm. the, that was going to, but I was moving in September and she gave me my bonus check. Wow. She's like here. And so oh. we, everything just kind of lined up for me to move. And so when we came and all the fixtures at the jewelry store, the that fixtures I had sold easy. I mean, we it was like clear miracles upon miracles. Sold the car. You just knew. You knew yeah. God was calling you here. Yeah. 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 It just worked yeah. out perfectly. And, and so then we came and uh, we'd go and witness to our family. When we moved, we'd end up going every Saturday to talk to them about Jesus yeah, and witness them, to to come, invite them to church. Them to church. And the one weekend, Levy said, we're not doing that anymore. We're not going and hounding them, you know, because, yeah. you know, about Sometimes coming. Sometimes he gets frustrated when yeah. the Christian yeah. jumps in front of you. Yeah. He's like, let's Do just, yes. he's planted the seed. We have yeah. to just trust God. And yeah. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And so I remember one time that Dr. Seville was teaching and he was like, and right now family members are even coming into the church. As I speak. As I, as as I, he's, speak. As I speak. And here comes Shex and G walking in the church in the as he yeah. said yeah. that. I know. No. Oh my God. Uh, yes. It was. That's when you know that you know you're in the right place. <laughs> yeah. right. And before we moved here, we talked to the pastors of the old church. And uh, one thing they told us is once you get there, stay planted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be planted. And that's exactly what we did. Find a spot, serve, and stay planted. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we're always honored that. And your yeah. whole family, yeah, yes. Yes. now in yeah. the kingdom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, so yes. So ministry, that just you know. like we thought we were moving for me and Levy, but God yeah. had a bigger picture in mind. Yeah, yeah. He was thinking of the whole family. <sighs> That's crazy. Yeah. So everybody just slowly, everybody just the kids. I mean, it's just been miraculous. Yeah. And now y'all are like half the church. <laughs> <laughs> We are many. Yeah, yeah. we are many. Yeah. yeah, we don't go to restaurants anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we shut those down on Sunday. Yeah. For how many? 22. No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, they're like, no, that's, yeah. So. That's amazing. Yeah. What I love about your family is it's like your family, but then you like, you just expand the definition of family. You're like, no, your family yes. too. We're family yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. Like we, uh, Chex and us, we all had kids at the same time, and they're like, y'all are family. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you come yeah. on. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. something we did, you know, we'd find, you know, new members at church, like Thanksgiving, and they can't go back to New York or yeah. wherever, and be like, man, just come hang out with us, and they become family. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's yeah. very true. I'm yeah. thinking, I'm like, like mm -hmm. thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, the whole family has been connected with, yeah, with yeah. us with in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's God a, is all incredible. about people, and he's about one big family. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, that's... What was the name of your friend in... in Jeannie Detterman. Jeannie Detterman. And Don Detterman. Don Detterman, he's in heaven right now. Yeah. He, Think about the gift that yes. they were to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. ministered to you guys, and they probably ministered to hundreds of other mm -hmm. people. But the domino effect, like Absolutely. I said, that it brought this whole family... Mm -hmm. Absolutely. ...to the Lord. And now y'all are serving. I mean, it's yeah. not like y'all aren't just in church. You guys are like... The church, the you're church. part of the church. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. your hands are in so many different things. So yeah. it's pretty incredible that one that one mm -hmm. yes. that one ping pong ball. And I, and right. I, it yeah. is so true. And we always we, then we honor that we because we know God definitely chose them to and that church to be our starting point. And so we always make mm -hmm. sure every year we go back and see all our family mm -hmm. back there. And mm -hmm. so you know, and he got me uh, into motorcycles too. Yeah, mm -hmm. he gave, so yeah. that's pretty cool. He's the one that really sowed that seed big time because he had built his chopper and everything, and he was, you know, showing me on a Christmas morning, and he started it, had me sit on it, put a do-rag <laughs> on me, 
And the annoying, the motorcycle annoying, just yeah, no motorcycle annoying. Oh my annoying. God, and that was that it, motorcycle you know? annoying. Yeah. yeah, and then a few months later, I see the the video I was telling you about about this preacher riding his motorcycle in the middle of the aisle, and I but thought, that's what connected you. Everything mm-hmm. was just. Yeah, yeah, that's what connected place, you, yeah. and God does that. He talks yeah. to you in a way that yeah. you will yeah. understand. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And actually, he actually had even bought a shirt for Chariots of Light yeah. because he thought it was cool looking, not recognizing yeah. that all of it. it. No, he didn't know. He didn't know, yeah. he yeah. Didn't know yeah. that they She's were all connected in the beginning. So yeah. when we got here, all these things connected. Everything wow. Yeah. Up and it's like, sense. oh, we had this shirt and yeah. Chariots of Light, and it was just, I mean, I God. Yeah. 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 I mean, amazing. Look. The one motorcycle story I always remember because this is my first in, like the first time I remember knowing who y'all were mm-hmm. is it was I think I want to say 2010. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. guys had a break in at your house, right? Yes. And had a bunch we of did. stuff stolen. So I remember it, like learning who you all were and the church prayed for you and sewed into you and then mm-hmm. tell us what what else happened that day. Yeah, well, it was um I was actually coming to pick up Ralphie here at the Aww. daycare and she Called me and goes, did you leave the door open? And I go, no, the door's not open. So she walks in. Oh, goodness, the TV's not here. My computer is <gasps> gone. The laptop oh is not here. Yeah. It had pictures and everything. I'm like, The window's broken. Yeah. The back window was broken. I thought, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. It says, so we called the cops. And yeah. Um, yeah, they came. we walked out the driveway. Ralphie was real little. He was like, what, two years old at the time, right? Mm-hmm, two. Uh, two, two year old. And we all held held hands. And we prayed and we said, devil, you've robbed the wrong family. Mm-hmm. That's right. You're about to pay up. <laughs> 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 you know? Right then the driveway. And we did the whole statement thing and all that. And then came to and church on Sunday. We didn't think very few people knew about no, it. No, yeah. Even, yeah, we had like a few family, people, family and, uh, that knew. That mine, um, and I think that morning when we got there, I think somebody had mentioned to the pastors because I think they were looking for us. And so I think they mentioned to the pastors something about yeah. our break-in. And so, so I guess, but I, Dr. Savell had already had it on his heart to bless Levy that morning. So whenever he heard about the break-in, it was just like yeah. another. Even more. Yeah. 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 And so whenever he called. Everybody's was sewing and everything. Yeah. And so then he's he, bawling. I'm in shock. Yeah. <laughs> just, I remember you know. all of this. Yeah. 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 And so then when I'm about yeah. to walk to my seat, Brother Jerry goes, oh, and Levy, I got one more thing for you. And he hands me the title to the motorcycle. And I go, man. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And I said, and then this is the a t- good church, right? Yes, <laughs> it is. It's a good awesome, church, man. That's yeah. why it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the TV was replaced by one guy who used to be in this church, mm-hmm. but I moved to New York. Mm-hmm. Had his stuff in storage, and he goes, "I have, I know that couple. I guess he watched online or somehow he knew about it." Mm-hmm. And he called and he goes, "I have a TV in the storage, and I heard that TV just got stolen, so I'm going to bless them with the TV." Yeah. So by Monday morning or Monday afternoon. We had enough finances to fix the window, get a new door, get a new TV, and uh, finances, and a motorcycle. And a motorcycle. And a motorcycle. And, a motorcycle. Yeah. and we That's were actually amazing. talking about, you know, just that testimony is just so amazing because God, when he says he's going to restore seven mm-hmm. fold, re- 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 he truly has. Till yeah. this day, we have never had to buy a TV or a computer. Never God, had to buy a motorcycle. Our motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> God is continually but that, restoring. But that part is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, but, yeah. but that's how God does yeah. it. When yeah. he says, you know, the enemy, you know, he restores fully. Yeah. And so we still Born get blessed with TVs right. and computers. And it's like, thank you, you know. <laughs> and motorcycles. And motorcycles. Don't forget, that. Oh, <laughs> and don't forget the motorcycle. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, so God has been so faithful. Yeah. It so sounds good. like he's been really faithful to y'all. You guys are good incredible examples of what god does with mm-hmm. people no matter where we're at in life he always is drawing us near and you guys are an mm-hmm. example of what god can do in a absolutely. life absolutely. um in the lives of a family that just yeah i mean it like multiplied like everything in your life yes. has yeah. multiplied it's a absolutely. sermon people see so, i like know, that statement it's a sermon that people see yeah. you know that's good it's one thing to just talk about it but once they see it yeah, which kind of <coughs> leads me to the next the next question i have for y'all which is you know the sermon you can see um, what we do at church, you guys know this, you've been here longer than, than I have, not, probably not longer than you, but <laughs> is making winners in life. That's kind of, and that's what y'all are. So mm-hmm. would you guys take a second and define what that statement means to y'all? Um, for me, I think it's seeing other people win and being a little part of, like, even if it's encouraging someone to go for it. Um, and a perfect example is uh, a friend of mine, 
always wanted to be a cop and encourage him. I was part of a little bit of his winning in life. So that to me, helping somebody else. That's good. Being mm-hmm. part of somebody else. Winning. Victory. Winning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. It's good. Yeah, and I think <coughs> mine is similar to his alignment with what he said. It's, it's completing the assignment that God has placed on your life. And that will always, I think, involve people, you know, because God is all about pursuing people. And so I, I think that for me, winning in life is doing the thing that God has told you, especially when it comes to, you know, being intentional with the people God has put in your lives. And and he reminded me, like, every action that you do today is a legacy mm-hmm. you leave for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So it's so important that what we do every day and being intentional about mm-hmm. following God's, you know, those nudges that he tells you, talk to that person or do this. And we're thinking, oh, we're fulfilling their assignment, but truly God is fulfilling what he's called us to do. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what winning is. Yeah. Good. Oh, those are such solid answers. Yeah. Every time. It always, it always amazes me how that, that one question can just multiply just like yeah. y'all, y'all have. Thank you guys for being oh, on our show. Oh, thank you. We are so yes. honored to be it awesome. here. <laughs> it's lots of fun. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yes. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're really thankful y'all are part of our church family. And we thank you guys for watching and being part of our uh, Winning Conversations family. Um, don't forget to join us on Instagram. We have a Winning Conversations Instagram page. Of course, we're on our Heritage of Faith YouTube page. So any of the episodes, if you've ever missed any of them, you can go back and catch them on the playlist. They're all there. This Amazing Couple is there now. And we're just grateful for our church family and for being able to do this, mm-hmm. this Thank podcast. you so much yeah. for having us. We are honored to be here. You guys are a blessing. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty all right. <laughs> should do more often. We'll, ha- we'll have to have you back for, for another section. So anyway, we'll see you later. Have a great week.